Hey guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to the Eagles franchise. I'm back sooner than expected. And today we'll go through the second four games, so the second quarter of the season, and we have a breakout chance for Davion Taylor in this first game. He's an outside linebacker, and he will get all the snaps at sub-linebacker and as a 4-3 base outside linebacker. And we're going to play the Carolina Panthers in Charlotte today. And this is going to be an interesting matchup with all their like fun pieces on the uh, on the offense. Like with DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson, Christian McCaffrey. And their stud defense, which has a really strong defensive line. And that is matching up well against our not-so-great offensive line. But the Eagles are going to get the ball First and Boston Scott has about nine yards on the first run. Third and ten, a couple plays later, Jalen Hurts has some time and he goes down. That is a sack for Daquan Jones. And this drive is over, which means that Cam Newton, who is having a great season, is going to take over. And he hands it off to Christian McCaffrey and he runs into the secondary and he's got 13 yards on this carry. First down, Panthers. Christian McCaffrey turns it back to the left and he probably would have been gone if he would have chosen to go to the outside, but it's still a first down. A few plays later, now in Eagles territory, Cam throws it to Humphreys and he's got a first down and 21 yards. And the Panthers are marching down the field. Cam Newton goes with trips to the left here. He has some time. He steps up, throws it to the end zone, and that one is caught. It's a touchdown, Robbie Anderson. And the Panthers are taking an early lead here in the first quarter. They're going to challenge this, actually. The spot of the ball. Do they have forward progress? I don't think they have, and they're going to overturn it. Cam Newton scrambles out to the left. And this time he's got it. Touchdown Panthers, Robbie Anderson once again. And this time it really is a touchdown and they're taking the lead. With about two minutes left in the first quarter, Jalen Hurts takes the field again and he overthrows his tight end on third and eight, which has a punt following. And the Panthers are back on the field. Double coverage down the field and Robbie Anderson can't pull it down. So another punt and the Eagles are back on offense. Kenneth Gainwell and he's got the first down, 10 yards. Third and eight, a couple plays later at around midfield. Hertz needs to throw it and just as Devontae Smith was about to get open, Hertz goes down. It's Hassan Reddick in the backfield and that means another punt. Still 7-0 for Carolina. And the catch is made, but it's incomplete for DJ Moore. And that results in yet another punt. Jalen Hurts over the middle. It's almost intercepted. Jalen Hurts not having a great day. Two of eight for 17 yards. Cam Newton rolling out to his left. And he's going to run it on third and two. And I don't think he's got it. It's Ruben Foster with the stop. Fourth and inches. And another punt coming up here. Third and five now for the Eagles. And Kenneth Gainwell breaks a tackle even. Nice run. Catch and run across the middle. But this play has Lane Johnson, the right tackle, coming out of the game. He is going to enter the locker room and he's not going to come back. Jalen Hurts hands it off to Kenneth Gainwell on first and ten. And he's got some running room to the left side. It's 17 yards. They should hand the ball off more often. Six brushes for 35 yards. Dislocated shoulder for Lane Johnson. That means Isaiah Wilson is going to attempt to stop Brian Burns as Kenneth Gainwell gets into the secondary 26 yards. First down Eagles. Runs it to the left side and even breaks a tackle. And then Jalen Hurts on second and goal. Touchdown Eagles. And they are finally tying up this game at seven. Empty backfield for Cam Newton. He throws it to the outside and Robbie Anderson wide open. 15 yards and first down Panthers. Timeout. 
We're at about 61 seconds now as Cam Newton is going to try and uh, push it down the field. He tries to scramble to the left side and he goes down. Timeout Panthers. Third and 15 coming up. And Cam is stepping up and he goes down. It's Fletcher Cox in the backfield. And then there is yet another injury. It's Josh Sweat. The one guy along the defensive line that has played really well for this season. And he's going to be out. Torn Labrum. He's not coming back. First and 10. Jalen Hurts to the outside. And he's got a completion to Jalen Rager. And that is going to be a first down closer to midfield. Nice toe drag here. Third and 10 coming up though. Jalen Hurts throws it, but it's short to Rager and he can't get the first down. It's fourth and 10 and they are just going to run out this clock here. And we'll go to halftime. It's a really even game so far. And the Eagles are going to have to play some better offense if they want to move the football down the field especially Jalen Hurts is not having the greatest of days but we're gonna look at another game because the Washington football team is down by a lot and they are going on to lose this game so the division rivals not playing that great just like in real life as Christian McCaffrey breaks the tackle and breaks loose to the outside and that is 25 yards a few plays later they are at the edge of the red zone and Cam is gonna step up and run it with, and run it himself and that is going to result in a first down inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, Cam Newton. It's a screen set up for Chuba Hubbard. Touchdown Panthers. And they are going to retake the lead. It's seven, 14 to seven. Third and seven for Jalen Hurts. Finally got some time. Wide open is Deion Kane and he runs it down the field. Huge first down. That's about 30 yards. And there is even going to be a roughing the passer call on top. So third and goal. And this is going to be a touchdown. J.J. Arthega Whiteside with the score. And they tie up this game at 14 and we're moving closer toward the fourth quarter. Bunch to the right for Cam Newton. And he has a man open. This is Robbie Anderson. And that's a first down 15 yards as Cam Newton crosses 100 yards on the day. Second and 10, bunch to the right. Cam Newton has some time. He scrambles to the outside and he's just gonna tuck it in and run it. And he goes down near the first down marker and they're gonna call it a first down, but third and six coming up here. Came over the middle and it's almost intercepted, but overthrown by a mile as the Panthers are gonna attempt a 57 yard field goal and it's good, 17 to 14. Second and 12 and Jalen Hurts goes down in no time. Shaq Thompson on the blitz, third and 21. Jalen Hurts is gonna scramble to the outside He's going to throw it, and Devontae Smith has a completion right at the sticks, but it's fourth and one. And there is going to stop the Eagles just shy of the sticks. They're actually going to punt it back as Cam Newton goes down. He wanted to throw it to the flats, and Kalen Saunders takes down the quarterback. First and ten for the Eagles now after the punt. And Jalen Hurts tries to escape, and he overthrows Smith. And that is going to result in a second and 10. Jalen Hurts throws and it's overthrown again. Intended for Jalen Rager, third and 10. You can't miss these throws. This time he's on the money, but Rager can't get the first down at seven yards. And Jalen Hurts still below 50% completion percentage. Fourth and three, Jake Elliott. And this kick is off the upright, no good. So the Panthers have good field position as Christian McCaffrey breaks a tackle, gets to the outside, lost the football. What a play by the defense. The Eagles defense stepping up big time. This is the safety and he applies a huge hit on Christian McCaffrey and the Eagles are taken over and Kenneth Gainwell absorbs a hit. 
but he is closing in on 100 rushing yards on the day. Third and two, Jalen Hurts has some time now. Over the middle, Devontae Smith. First down, 16 yards. Jalen Hurts now at 50% complete on the day. First and 10. It's a play action shot for Jalen Hurts. He's going to run it to the outside, throws it, and it's overthrown. Intended for Devontae Smith. That is going to result in a field goal. As Christian McCaffrey has another rushing lane. But this time it's just three yards. And we're at the two-minute warning. T game is tied at 17. Both teams have a shot. Over the middle. It's complete. First down, Panthers. And we're closer to the middle of the field. Third and nine. Cam Newton trying to scramble to the outside. He dumps it off. And Tremble can't get the first down. It's a fourth down. Do the Panthers go for it? Fourth and four. Do you want a game? Do you want to win the game? No, they punt it away. The Eagles have another shot. Two timeouts left. About a minute on the clock. And first down, JJ Arthega Whiteside. Jalen Hurts over the middle. And it's caught off the deflection. Devontae Smith with the catch. It was intended for Jalen Rager and that was deflected right into the hands of Devontae Smith who has yet another catch inside the red zone. And they're going to take a timeout. No timeouts left for the Eagles. Third and ten. And they're just going to throw it to the outside and lucky that that was not intercepted. And they are going to attempt a field goal as the Panthers are going to ice them. Game is tied at 17. This is for the win. And it's good. Just inside the upright. And the uh, Eagles are going on to have a three-point lead. But there is nine seconds on the clock. Cam Newton. He has a clean pocket. And he throws it off his back foot down the field. And Humphreys can't pull it down. It's almost intercepted anyway. Second and ten. One second left. Cam Newton has a clean pocket, only three rushers, and he throws it to the sideline. DJ Moore pulls it down, but he is tackled, and the clock hits triple zeros. Game over. It's a victory for the Philadelphia Eagles. And Jalen Hurts takes away this game, even though he did not play great in this one. But if you didn't pay attention, Davion Taylor did not have a single TFL sack interception anything and so his breakouts did not succeed but Jalen Hurts he had a fine game at the end it was fine in the beginning it was pretty horrific and then Christian McCaffrey and Kenneth Gainwell both with 100, 100 yards on the ground Devontae Smith had a great day Arthur Whiteside had a touchdown and then for the defense Anthony Harris all over the field forcing the fumble as well Fletcher Cox three TFLs and for sacks, also Fletcher Cox, two sacks. And Kalen Saunders had a sack. No interceptions, but forced fumble for Anthony Harris. And then we have bad news. Josh Sweat is going to miss four games. But at least Lane Johnson is going to come back next week. Not injured too badly. Yeah, as I already said, they did not, or like Davian Taylor did not win the breakout. It wasn't the elite performance he had hoped for. And then we're going to move on. Prospect spotlight in the next week. GM tells us there is a receiver named Kevin Hoffman and sh we should keep our eyes on him. We're just going to take a look real quick. I'm not thinking that I will take a receiver in this draft. We, The Eagles took a receiver. Two off seasons ago in Arthega Whiteside in the second round and then the first round receiver in Jalen Rager and then another first round receiver this year in Devontae Smith. But Huffman is 21, 6 foot 1, 204. He has a few exciting traits, great at snagging passes mid-air. He has good athleticism, only decent to solid speed. But he has great agility and at least solid or good change of direction. So maybe there is something there. He's not injury prone. NTSC awareness. We do, we do not know anything about him. But maybe we'll see what we do with him. Maybe in the third round if he's there. Maybe we'll take a, take a look at him. 
And then we're gonna move on to the next game. It's going to be the defending Super Bowl champions. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are coming to town. And Jalen Hurts is having a decent season up to this point. Five games into the season. And they're gonna start it with Kenneth Gainwell to the outside and he's got some running room, 17 yards. And a first down for the Eagles. Second and eight, Jalen Hurts is pressured. It's a blitz, but there is a man wide open. It's Devontae Smith and he's got the first down. And they are moving toward the goal line. Jalen Hurts with an empty backfield. He's gonna run it up the middle and he's into the end zone. Touchdown Eagles, early lead, 7-0 for Philadelphia in their own stadium. Tom Brady not having the greatest of seasons, to be honest, but he's going to start the day with one running back and three receivers, and there is one of them wide open. It's Antonio Brown, and he's got a first down at the edge of field goal range. First and 10, it's a handoff for Leonard Fournette. He gets away from one tackler, falls ahead, that's 11 yards, and a first down for the Buccaneers. 11 personnel for Tom Brady. He's got some time, he's protected, but then he goes down and he lost the football. Leonard Fournette picks it up, but it's a 12 yard loss. What a play for the defense. And that knocks him back to a 50-yard field goal, which is barely good. It just hooks inside 7-3 Eagles. And they have a chance to extend this lead as Arthega Whiteside can't bring it in. Great defense. And they are going to punt it back as, yeah, you got to pick that off, man. You cannot drop that. There is another punt by the Buccaneers. Hurts over the middle, this time a third down is converted after a few three and outs. Devontae Smith with another great catch. This is the connection we're hoping for. Hurts to Smith. First and 15 and Hurts is going to run outside and he's still going to be dropped by Shaq Barrett who has less speed in, the, in his ratings than Jalen Hurts. First and 10 and Tom Brady has a man open. And it's caught at the sideline, 19 yards. What a play, O.J. Howard. Second and two, empty backfield for Tom Brady. And he went for the pick. Anthony Harris could have picked it off. But he was a step too late. And it's a huge first down to get the Buccaneers toward the red zone. First and goal, Tom Brady's going down. It's Javon Hargrave. And they're going to have a field goal kicked because they cannot convert this third and goal and then Hertz goes down in the process after the kickoff Shaq Barrett has his second sack of the day second and 20 coming up cornerback blitz Hertz escapes throws it across the middle Devontae Smith huge opening over the middle what a play 28 yards and Smith is having a great day Hertz has to scramble once again. Shaq Barrett in pursuit and Smith has yet another catch. And they're at the edge of field goal range. First and 10, play clock winding down. We're inside the two minute warning now. Jalen Hurts scrambling to the outside and it's yet another catch for Devontae Smith. 21 yards and Jalen Hurts is having a great day. Third and two, goal line personnel handoff to Jordan Howard. And the Buccaneers take a timeout. They didn't get it. It's fourth and inches. And they're going for it. It's an RPO. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae Smith has the score. And the Eagles are taking a 14-6 lead. Almost to halftime. 14 seconds left. Maybe Tom Brady can get them another field goal. He throws it up to Mike Evans. Single coverage. And he almost pulled it down, Steven Nelson, with the breakup. And of course, if you enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. It's helping this channel grow. We're at halftime. This is a Thursday night game. Nobody has played any game whatsoever. And Tom Brady has the ball after halftime. And he dumps it off to Mike Evans. And that is going to be a fourth down. He only got seven when he needed 10. Jalen Hurts 
on our fence. Scrambles out to his left and he's going to run it upfield. Tried to juke out Devin White, but that didn't work out. And third and inches coming up. Two backs in the backfield. And Kenneth Gainwell couldn't get the first down. Fourth down. And the Eagles have to punt it back to the Bucks. Tom Brady already across midfield. And OJ Howard is absorbing the hit stick. But he's got the catch and he's inside the red zone. Eight point game. Can Tom Brady change anything about this? As Leonard Fournette has a catch in the flats. But that is going to be a fourth down. Anthony Harris with the stop. And they're going to add a field goal. Still five point game for the Eagles. And Jalen Hurts has to escape once again. He has some running room. He tucks it in. Runs down the sideline. Gets out of bounds. Huge gain. And he has a first down at the edge of the red zone now. Second and ten. Jalen Hurts is pressured. Blitz is coming in. He runs it to the left side. Can he get in? He fumbles it. And it's called a touchback. What a devastating play. Jalen Hurts runs it to the pylon. And he can't get it in. Look at this. He fumbled it. The ball goes into the end zone and then it's kicked out by the defense. Touchback. Buccaneers got lucky on that play. They could have extended this lead. And Mike Evans has a catch and a first down for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And there is a play action shot for Tom Brady. He is going down now. He had some time, but you need to throw it away if nothing's there. And Javon Hargrave takes the second sack of the game for him. And then Quez Watkins is the punt returner and he outruns some people and he gets the ball back almost to midfield. So first and so second and ten for Jalen Hurts. Scrambling again and he runs it to the left side and this time he gets out of bounds safely. He does not fumble it. He's at 73 yards on the day. Third and three, Jalen Hurts. He's got some time, throws it over the middle. And Deion Kane cannot hang on. This is going to result in a field goal. And Jake Elliott pushed it to the right side. It's no good. That would have been a chance to extend this lead. But Tom Brady takes over with great field position. And Leonard Fournette, what a hit stick, man. Third and goal. Tom Brady can take the lead right here. And there's a man wide open. It's Miller. Scotty Miller with the touchdown. And the Buccaneers have a chance to make this a three-point game if they get this two-point try. And Tom Brady has lots of time. And he gets it to OJ Howard, but he's going to be kept out of the end zone. And so this is a one-point game. Jalen Hurts scrambling to the left side. And he's going down. It's Jason Pierre-Paul, who in absolutely no time whatsoever stood up and just took down the quarterback, who was running at full speed away from him. Thanks, Ye. And now over the middle, third and 21. We're inside the two-minute warning. You need to convert this. Fourth and 21 is going to come up. But look at what the left tackle did. Did nothing at all. And so it's 4th and 21 and Jalen Hurts standing inside his own end zone overthrows his receiver in triple coverage and that is going to lead to a third and goal by Tom Brady. Leonard Fournette runs it up the middle it's no good. Fourth down they add a field goal and Jalen Hurts has another shot he throws it up took a shot and Devontae Smith can't pull it down. Third and 10, Jalen Hurts. It's a four-man rush. He throws it up to his receiver and he overthrows him. Arthago Whiteside, no chance. Fourth and 10, Jalen Hurts. Forwards play, Arthago Whiteside. It's one-on-one, -on -one, but the ball falls down and this game is over. And you just look back at that fumble at the goal line. You could have taken a two-score lead to finish this game. Because the Buccaneers, as it turns out, did not have anything left to take their lead themselves with a touchdown. They kept it close. And that fumble at the goal line was really costly. Because if you add the seven points on top, 
for the Eagles, this game probably would have been over. And so Devontae Smith's 130 through the air did go unnoticed or quasi lost. And yeah, Javon Hargrave, two TFLs and two sacks. Great day for him. Ryan Kerrigan had a sack. And we'll look at forced fumbles. Ryan Kerrigan actually had a forced fumble as well. But Jason Pierre-Paul forced the fumble at the goal line, which was a game deciding factor here. And Javon Hargrave, toward the la on the last couple drives, he got injured as well. He's going to miss five games, and that is going to bring in Kalen Saunders. We're going to look at some prospects from the next draft. And Sean Keaton looks like an absolute monster. And if I get a chance at selecting him, I will. Because this guy looks absolutely ridiculous. Another player I'm interested in is Mike Middleton, 22. 6'4", 238, he has really like great to elite speed, really love it, and he is great at finesse and power moves, actually he has great hit power, and his zone coverage is probably pretty bad. Brian Richardson, a guard, if we want to select the guard, he looks pretty great, great to elite strength, he has really good athleticism. And his skills look really solid as well. Also, it's good to know, B injury, he's not injury prone. Dante Burnett is a corner I'm looking at. 5'11", 197, he's 21 years old. Good to great speed. And he has F injury, unfortunately. But maybe there may be a shot I'll take him if he has good zone coverage. Steve LaRoe, he's my favorite linebacker up until now, he's 22. And he has great to elite speed and strength. And he has great stamina. He's a good run stopper, but he also has B-man coverage. So maybe he isn't that bad. And then Devin Belser. He also looks pretty good. He is 23, but he has also pretty solid athleticism. And his skills look really good as well. Pass block is one of the important things. I look at tackle and he has an A there. So really like him. Morris Davidson, also 21, 5'10", 205, also from Northern Illinois, like Dante Burnett. Great to elite speed, and he's a round one to two projected. So I may be looking at him as well. He is B press, which I like. Only C zone coverage, not that exciting, but he ha if he has the right athletic athleticism, I will take a look at him in the draft. Both those corners are looking really solid, both from Northern Illinois. We'll move on to the next game. It's going to be in Allegiant Stadium against the Las Vegas Raiders. Jalen Hurts is going to take the field first. And he's having a fine season. Not the greatest completion percentage, actually. Only about 50%. But he has a chance to change that today. Hurts has some time over the middle. Wide open, Devontae Smith on the slant and he's got a first down had a great game last week and now he's got a chance to add even more yardage over the middle wide open Arthega Whiteside on the post and he's got a first down at the edge of field goal range third and ten now Jalen Hurts you gotta get this one and it's almost intercepted cornerback ran the route for Dallas Goddard fourth down and the Eagles are taking a field goal at least and the Raiders are not going anywhere. Kenyon Drake is sacked, is being brought down in the backfield. It's a three yard loss. Second and two for Jalen Hurts after the punt. And Kenneth Gainwell, he's got some running room after the catch. First and 10, Thaddeus Moss in the game as a lead blocker. Perfect lead block to the outside goes Boston Scott. And he's got the first down, 15 yards. And he is having a great day as well. We rushes 25 yards. You like to see that. First and 10. Jalen Hurts scrambling on the bootleg. He throws it to the end zone. Touchdown Eagles. Devontae Smith turns the corner wide open once again. And he is into the end zone. And the Eagles are taking a 10-0 lead. Devontae Smith with a great catch here. Did not step out of bounds. You can see it there. 10-0. Derek Carr hands it off to Josh Jacobs. 
who breaks the tackle by Steven Nelson, and he's got a first down. They're moving closer to midfield, but third and seven, critical third down. You need to get it, and it's incomplete. Great play, Ruben Foster to knock it down, and that's gonna be a punt. The Eagles are taking over, and Jalen Hurts is getting sacked. Third and nine coming up, Jalen Hurts from his own 21 yard line and he has some time overthrows Devontae Smith pressure was getting in it's a punt Derek Carr already across midfield hands it off to Josh Jacobs and he breaks a tackle that's eight yards Derek Carr has a man wide open how can he get that open at 12 yards and they are closer to the goal line third and ten coming up it's a screen setup for Kenyon Drake. He's breaking tackles, but it's only a one yard gain. Fourth down and the Raiders can add three points. Jalen Hurts, incomplete, throws out of the sack. Fourth down and he has to give the ball up, punt it back to the Raiders and Josh Jacobs. Third and six and they were actually going to run it. And we are at about a minute left in this quarter. It was a first down. And this one is actually complete. The tackle is broken. First down, Raiders. Derek Carr, four-man pressure. And the pressure was getting in. But Kenyon Drake was open. And he has 11 yards. And that is a first down. Derek Carr. It's a play-action shot. And he has lots of time. He throws it down the middle. And it is incomplete. Lucky to throw that out of the back of the end zone. First and 10. And this is complete. First down. Actually, second and one to, I think, Darren Waller is the tight end there. And they are just going to take a field goal. Seven seconds left. And Carlson puts it right through the uprights. The Raiders add a field goal here. It's 10 to 6. Really close game. Both teams really playing solid football. And actually the Raiders are leading in yardage. We'll look at another game here. And this is going to be the Giants. Who face the Panthers today. And they actually took a win. So they are in playoff contention. Both of those teams are in playoff contention. And the Panthers have lost two straight to NFC East rivals. Washington in Green Bay, they won as well. Packers three and four, not the greatest of season seasons they're having. Football team now at three and four, trying to get to 500, maybe have a shot at the seventh seed. And the Raiders, what the heck happened here? Hunter Renfro, what a catch and then absorbing a huge hit. But he's got the first down. And now at the sideline, this is caught. Kenyon Drake, first down, and he uh, unintentionally stepped out of bounds. Third and four, Derek Carr protected really well. And the catch is made, but he lost forward progress, and he got behind the line to gain fourth down. Javen White with the stop, and that's just going to be a field goal for the Raiders. So now it's a 10-9 game. And Devontae Smith has a first down catch at the sideline. Great concentration there. Jalen Hurts. First and 10. And J.J. Arthega Whiteside was wide open up the seam. First down. And they're moving. They are inside the green zone. Jalen Hurts. And this is a touchdown. Dallas Goddard with the score. And the Eagles are taking a eight point lead. Now it's Josh Jacobs' time and he breaks a tackle there, 11 yards. He's breaking tackles all over the place. He has an eight yard average per carry. And now Derek Carr protected, throws it to his tight end and he's breaking tackles all over the place. It's a touchdown for the Raiders. What happened? The Raiders take a score. It's Moreau and with a two point, they can tie the game. And he ran behind the line to gain and once again, and that is going to end 
in a two score in a two point game. Now Jalen Rager is wide open and he has a touchdown and he has a first down, 15 yards, first and 10. As Jalen Hurts is escaping the pocket and he's going to run it toward the sideline, getting out of bounds with a 15 yard run. First and 10 for Jalen Hurts. They spread out the defense and somebody forgot to block anybody. Second and 22 coming up. Look at the left guard. Landon Dickerson not doing anything, just letting him run by. Second and 22 for Jalen Hurts. He's escaping the pocket, throws it down the field, and it's incomplete. And the Eagles have to take a field goal. Handoff to Hunter Renfro. He gets a block from Moreau, and he's got 11 yards, 12 yards on this jet sweep. Third and five. Derek Carr has... A great pocket, he throws it to his tight end. No, that's uh, Brian Edwards, the receiver out of South Carolina, and he's got a first down. Second and goal, handoff to Kenyon Drake, and there is a perfect open rushing lane touchdown Raiders. They are taking the lead. One point game, with a two point you can make it a field goal game as Derek Carr is going down. Fletcher Cox in the backfield. And because EA is a broken company, this will not count as a sack for Fletcher Cox. And this is a one-point game. Jalen Hurts throws it complete to Devontae Smith, and there is a flag down. And this is going to be unnecessary roughness, late hit, out of bounds on the defense. First and 10 for Jalen Hurts. And he's scrambling to the outside of the pocket. Runs it down the field. He tried to get the first down and he did get it. 11 yards. Second and 10. Jalen Hurts has a man wide open. It's Thaddeus Moss. Tries to muscle his way in. Only 15 yards, but first and goal from the one. They do not hand it off. Hurts to the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. JJ Arthaga white side. And the Eagles are taking the lead. And now they have to score the two-point conversion to make it a touchdown game. And Hertz is almost sacked. Just got rid of it, but the ball falls incomplete. Hertz is having a great day in offense, but the offensive line is not. First and 10, Derek Carr, five-point game. Man, wide open. And it's a first down. Derek Carr. Throws it to the flats. This is Hunter Renfro. And he's got the first down. 10 yards. We're at about 50 seconds now. Derek Carr throws it to the end zone. What happened? Brian Edwards wide open. Touchdown Raiders. Steven Nelson lost track of his deep zone. And now for the two point try. Derek Carr. It's complete. It's Moreau the tight end. And the Raiders are taking a field goal lead. And the Eagles are going to have to drive down the field. Three timeouts left, 50 seconds on the clock. Devontae Smith, first down. And they're going to use their first timeout. Third and eight, a little bit later. And this is incomplete intended for Jalen Rager, I think. Fourth and eight. Jalen Hurts has to scramble outside again. He throws it, and it's incomplete. Devontae Smith had a chance. But he absorbed the hits, he can't hang on. And the Eagles are losing this game by three. Because of a critical mistake made by cornerback Steven Nelson. Losing track of Brian Edwards on his deep zone was cover three, if I remember correctly. And Edwards had the easiest touchdown of his entire life. Running game was going okay for the Eagles, but Devontae Smith, another 100-yard performance, waking, waiting for that breakout. And Arthago Whiteside had another important touchdown at the end. Anthony Harris, 11 tackles, flying all over the field, and four QB sacks. No sacks for the Eagles. And now we can set the national focus for scouting. And we are going to go with middle linebacker. It's our biggest weakness. 
we cannot cover tight ends or running backs at all in this game. The middle of the field is always vacated and is just too easy. So we're going to select a middle linebacker. We're going to draft a middle linebacker in the first round. No way we don't. And we're going to have the second mock draft, the more accurate one. After seven games, Patrick Ferguson, Chargers already planning to replace uh, Justin Herbert. The mock draft marks that we are going to take a quarterback. I don't think so. Lamar McKee in the ninth spot, a guard. Maybe that will happen. I'm not sure. Steve LaRoe even goes to the Giants. I hope that doesn't happen. I really want to select him. Paul Burnett a little bit later. An edge rusher. Not really a need of ours, but maybe we will consider it. And then TJ Edwards is back from his horrific injury, but he's been replaced. The middle linebacker duo now is Ruben Foster and Javen White. And then we have Dev Traits revealed. Landon Dickerson has star dev, as does Devante Smith. Coming off two 100 yard performances, he is playing absolutely lights out this season. And he is going to have a breakout chance in this game. Devontae Smith is going to need some big yardage to go up to superstar dev. He's going to need three touchdowns or 150 yards from scrimmage. And we're going to try to give it to him. And this game is going to be played happily in Detroit. I'm really lucky that this breakout chance occurs against one of the weaker defenses in the league. But that being said, the Lions in this league are 5-2. and two. They are playing lights out on offense and it shows. Jalen Hurts trying to get this completion percentage up. And to start the game, 2nd and 8, Jalen Hurts has a man open. It's Devontae Smith and he makes a tackler miss and that is 12 yards. Motion for Ortega Whiteside. Jalen Hurts throws it to Devontae Smith and he runs away from a defender. And he's trying to run away from the entire defense. Gets out of bounds. Huge gain. What a gain for Devontae Smith. And now he's already at 49 yards. Already a third of the way there. Jalen Hurts, third and seven. Scrambling again. Pressure is coming in and in the back of the end zone. It's incomplete intended for Devontae Smith. He had a shot. But the Eagles are going to add three points. And Jared Goff is going to come out onto the field. And DeAndre Swift is bottled up in the backfield. There is a huge loss for Javen White. He's playing pretty good considering his low ratings. But he has the great athleticism. Third and seven, wide open, Tyrell Williams, first down, Lions, 16 yards. Two tight ends to the right for Goff, but it's a play action shot, and he has lots of time. You need to have the pass rush, wide open down the field, it's Khalif Raymond, and he is being brought down, actually it's Reynolds, I'm sorry, it's Reynolds, and he's being brought down at the one. And so first and goal for the Lions as Jared Goff is sacked. Derek Barnett in the backfield. Third and goal. Jared Goff has some time, throws it. Touchdown, Lions. Great catch. This is Khalif Raymond. The Eagles are taken over with 11 personnel. Slot left. And over the middle, it's Devontae Smith. You already know it. 20 yards for him, and he's at 69. Almost halfway there, and we're not even done with the first quarter. As Kenneth Gainwell gets into the secondary, runs it to the outside. Great run, Kenneth Gainwell. Having a great rookie season, by the way. Third and ten, Jalen Hurts is going to scramble as the pressure is getting in. And he overthrows his receiver, Devontae Smith. Third and two, and they're going to have a play fake on third and short. Jared Goff, block is picked up. And yeah, that's TJ Hawkinson, even broke a tackle. First and 10. And Jared Goff is trying to scramble and he's going down again. Derek Barnett in the backfield from the blind side. 
Second and 20, Jared Gaff going down again. He lost the football, Derek Barnett knocks it loose and the Lions fall on it. Third sack for him and we're not even through the first half. Third and 32 and Jared Gaff trying to get back to field goal range and he's going down again. It's Fletcher Cox with his first sack of the day. Fourth and 43 coming up. They punt it back. Second and 10 for the Eagles. Jalen Hurts. And this is our thing. A white side running away from the defense. And that's going to be a first down 19 yards. Jalen Hurts not having the greatest of starts to this game. He's missing some throws. But now he is retreating and he's going down again. He lost the football. And the Lions are going to take it back. They are going to run it back all the way. Touchdown, Lions. How does that happen? They are taking a 14-6 lead, extending their lead to 8. As Kenneth Gainwell breaks a tackle. And that's 13 yards. Now fourth down and two at around midfield. Critical fourth down and Hurts misses the throw. It's so frustrating how many critical throws he misses. Third and eight for Jared Goff at around midfield. They're taking over with great field position. And he just about got it away. DeAndre Swift breaks a tackle by Javen White. And he runs it down the field, even falls ahead. What a play, 20 yards for DeAndre Swift. First and 10. Swift gets the handoff. Fights ahead. Fights ahead. Breaks another tackle. And falls into the end zone. Touchdown Lions. Oh, this guy is unstoppable. DeAndre Swift is just unstoppable today. Jalen Hurts. We're closing in on the two minute warning. He throws it across the middle. And Devontae Smith. He's got the first down. At least this connection still works. Second and seven, Jalen Hurts is pressured, free rusher. It's Alex Anzalone. And Jalen Hurts is sacked, bringing up a third and 15. Jalen Hurts, pressure coming in, and he throws it across the middle, missing his receiver. Fourth and 15, 57 yard field goal for Jake Elliott. And it's coming up short, no good. 21-6 lead for the Lions and they can even add some more points. They just need to get the field goal range. They still have two timeouts and Tyrell Williams almost gets them there. 54 yard field goal, that is possible. Second and 10, Jared Goff. And he's retreating, he's going down. You have to throw it away there. Timeout Lions, but that is going to end the half actually. Third down didn't lead to anything. And yeah, this is, this has been pretty bad. The Eagles having a lot more yardage, but just missing out on opportunities to score points as DeAndre Swift has another huge run for a first down. 15 point game. Jared Goff retreating and he just about got it away, but it's intercepted. And Rodney McLeod is taking it back. He's running it down the field. Touchdown Eagles. Rodney McLeod just standing right there and taking advantage of the really bad mistake that Jared Goff made. First and 10, Jared Goff. It's an eight point game and TJ Hawkinson is breaking tackles all over the field. Three broken tackles on that play alone. This guy looks unstoppable. First and 10, two tight ends to the left for Jared Goff. Quick throw and this is uh, yet another first down. And that is 17 yards. Third and three coming up. It's Jared Goff. He has some time, throws it out of bounds. And that is going to result in a field goal by the Lions. Second and 10, 11 point game. And Devontae Smith is wide open. First down, Eagles. Second and 11, Jalen Hurts throws it. It's complete. Dallas Goddard running away from Trey Flowers. Finally brought down with a 15-yard gain. Actually, I think it was a 19-yard gain. 
First and 10, Jalen Hurts has a clean pocket, but then the rusher gets free. He throws it to the end zone, and it's a touchdown. The Eagles have another score, and this is going to get the breakout chance for Devontae Smith. It's a 33-yard touchdown. Look at this throw, but also the catch. What a catch. Look at the toe drag. Perfect by Devontae Smith. He's going to be such a monster. First and 10, over the middle. TJ Hawkinson broke another tackle. It's 12 yards for him. First and 10, handoff to DeAndre Swift. Can't stop that guy either. That's 11 yards. Second and goal. DeAndre Swift up the middle, touchdown Lions. They just closed in on the lead. And now the Lions have their two score lead back. First and 10, Jalen Hurts scrambling and losing it. It's a sack for Trey Flowers. Second and 22 coming up. Empty backfield for Jalen Hurts. Everybody knows they're gonna throw and he's going down again. This time it's Harris in the backfield. Third and 30, play action shot, Jalen Hurts, and she just throws it up, sending a prior, and it's a touchdown! Devontae Smith with the score on third and 30. What is the cornerback doing, man? What is the cornerback doing, man? Devontae Smith having a monstrous day. Look at this jump ball, and the cornerback just misjudged it absolutely completely two-point conversion try it's good and this game is a field goal game but the lines are moving down the field with about five minutes left he throws it to the sideline and it's incomplete intended for Tyrell Williams but Darius Slay against his former team with a great play third and six Dallas Goddard that's not gonna be enough fourth down and they punt it back to the lines three minutes left Jared Goff he is retreating he lost the football and the lines are taken over no he lost the football again it's Steven Nelson he recovers for the Eagles what is happening Jared Goff fumbles the ball the old lineman picks it up runs it back breaks a tackle and then loses it again because of the huge hit that Ruben Foster is applying here. And Steven Nelson picks it up. And the Eagles have a really short field. First and 10 from the 15. Jalen Rager breaks a tackle. Touchdown Eagles. What a turn of events for the Philadelphia Eagle. Tying the game up. And with the extra point, they are taking a one point lead. First and 10, Jared Goff retreating, going down. Fletcher Cox, third sack of the day, second and 24. And so the fourth and 24 is coming up. They need to get this. There is a flag down. It's incomplete. Dar Darius Lay knocks it away from Tyrell Williams. Tyrell Williams has been locked down for the entire game, but Fletcher Cox had a roughing the passer call which gets them the first down anyway it was fourth and 24 you can't get the roughing the passer call there that is deadly two minute warning right here we're at about 70 seconds left they are setting up a screen for deandre swift he gets a block thrown he breaks a tackle and he gets 15 yards and they're going hurry up both teams with all their timeouts 45 seconds left. Jared Goff just throws it up. And it's almost pulled down. What a defense by Avante Maddox. Third and two, Jared Goff. Throws it up to the end zone. He had a man wide open. And it's incomplete for St. Brown. And the Eagles are taking a timeout with 21 seconds left. Icing the kicker. But it doesn't matter. And they take a two-point lead. What a nail biter to end this episode. Jalen Hurts, 12 seconds left. Throws it up to Devontae Smith. One on one, and there is a flag down. It's going to come. It's not gonna come back. It is actually a pass interference on the defense with seven seconds left. 
and they're just gonna run it one time Kenneth Gainwell to the left side eight yards timeout Eagles three seconds left and the kicker is iced second and two Jake Elliott for the win and it's a victory for the Eagles what a nail-biter this game was 38 37 what a crazy game and the Eagles are taking away the victory they are now three and five no hopes of the playoffs I would say but it was a really fun game nonetheless and so we're gonna look at the numbers Jalen Hurts not having the greatest of days but I mean yards per attempt wise he is there he's right there we took some shots in this game Kenneth Gainwell with a 100 yard day DeAndre Swift we can stop him at all Devontae Smith 233 receiving yards and two touchdowns and if he would have caught that one in the end zone he would have had even three and probably 260 great day for Devontae Smith Rodney McLeod had 10 tackles Derek Barnett four TFLs Fletcher Cox three TFLs and Ruben Foster even had two TFLs and if that wasn't enough Derek Barnett four sacks Fletcher Cox three sacks and that results in seven sacks and the line still had 37 points scored in interception a pick six by Rodney McLeod two forced fumbles by Derek Barnett and Ruben Foster with a really important forced fumble right at the end when he hit sticked the lineman who picked up the football after the first fumble by Jared Goff and so Devontae Smith gets superstar dev 8,000 experience and we're just gonna look at the upgrades here we're gonna go physical first plus two release that was his big biggest weakness and we're gonna do it again because we need some release in here and he gets plus one he also gets some spec catch and some catch and traffic he is coming along nicely look at those ratings release i would love to get that into the 80s but it's fine for now and since we had these two like almost record-breaking performances we have the players of the week in the offense and the defense Devontae smith 233 and two touchdowns and derek barnett with four sacks four tfls two forced fumbles all right that is going to do it for this episode next episode we have a tandem breakout chance and that's going to do it for this episode thanks for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe for more eagles franchise see you in the next episode until then spread some love